Ooh, Illuminati. All right, guys, we are gonna talk about tetrahedral kites. This is a tetrahedral kite or a tetrahedron kite. So we are gonna talk about how to make those. So let me do a little twirl here. I've made this with straws, string, and grocery bags. So each one of these little cells of the tetrahedral kite is made with one of these. We got a tetrahedron right here, okay? And it's basically just a little pyramid, okay? And what you'll, we will do is we'll take a, tr a trash bag or a grocery bag and cover these two sides of it right here. So we're gonna talk about how to do that in a second. This is a four cell tetrahedral kite. You'll see one, two, three, four. And these things can get pretty big. Now, if you're working individually, you're gonna make a four cell tetrahedral kite. One of the first things that we need to do is we need to talk about how to make this. This is gonna blow your mind. You're gonna be like, Mr. Matter, I don't know how to do this. This is hard. Okay? It is kind of difficult. It takes a little bit of practice, but fortunately you guys will be uh, working in groups, hopefully, and it'll you guys will make quick work of this. All right, so let's talk about how to make one of these tetrahedrons out of the straws and the string. So for that, you're gonna need six straws and some string. Now, we're gonna take five of those and what we wanna do is, you know what I like to do? I like to get a little piece of tape and I'm gonna go get my little piece of tape going here. And I like to tape one side down because that way when I feed these straws onto the string, they don't all fall off. So let me, let me just move that right there, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed that into the straw like so. And you see how it came out on the other side? Now I'm just gonna let it slide all the way down and I want to feed five of these onto the string. So you're basically threading five straws. And this is such fine string that the little fibers like to stick to the side. So takes a second. So I got that going. Now I'm going to drop it like that. This is looking pretty good. What I want to do now is I want to take, see how I have this kind of in a, the shape of a diamond? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this right here and tie it up. I'm gonna pull that as tight as I can. And do one more, because I wanna double it. Just like that, okay? Okay. Funny enough, we have tied off this right here, and it has sort of this traditional kite shape that you'd see, you know, like in the cartoons, you have your kite shaped like that. Then you have the tail coming off here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this extra little bit right here. We're gonna feed it into the, our fifth straw, like so. Oh, come on, get in there. And sometimes I like to pinch the straw just to hold the string and make sure it doesn't slide. There you go. Okay. So I have this, and I want to take and tie this across. I'll show you what I mean here. So the idea is you want to tie it right here into this little spot right here. Okay. And I'm going to take and knot it up. Try to get that as tight as you can. If it's a little loosey-goosey, that's okay. All right, <clears throat> and now you can see we have sort of this diamond that's cut in half, 
and it's cut in half and you see we have two triangles here so that is made out of five straws now <clears throat> we'll trim that okay but be careful not to cut your knot off okay and there we go that looks pretty good okay and we are going to get another piece of string and we are going to take this other piece of string and thread it in like so and here's where it gets nuts y'all the idea here is you want to tie this in right here and then you want to tie the other end and basically fold that up and tie here and then also here so I'm going to do that right now and I didn't say it would be easy y'all this is going to frustrate some of y'all just like that now I'm going to take this right here and tie this up So I got that tied up and any little extra you can just trim off. Just be careful not to cut your knot off. Okay. That looks pretty good. We got our first tetrahedron there. And this one's kind of loose, that's okay. Try to get it tighter than I did right there. Okay. But you can see he did it, right? It was gonna look like that. 